Good evening. Good evening. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our annual Honor Society's induction ceremony. It is our intent to honor these distinguished inductees and to increase awareness of these esteemed organizations. As principal, nothing is more gratifying to see students rewarded for their hard work and dedication to academics and their extracurricular pursuits. The rich diversity of God-given gifts to each of us is very evident throughout the program. These students are truly using his gifts to better themselves and our school community. Inductees, I congratulate you on your accomplishments. To the parents and teachers, I thank you for your, our educational partnership, which ensures the success of our students. I now ask Mr. Alex Patangan of the National Honor Society to offer tonight's opening prayer. Alex. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we thank you for this moment, a moment to gather as a community, as a family of scholars, a moment to give thanks for the excellent work of teachers and administrators, a moment to recognize the accomplishments of dedicated and gifted students, a moment to celebrate what we have been called to do, to teach, to learn, to become holy. Finally, we thank you for this moment of prayer and acknowledge that you are the giver of every good gift all is yours, and all has been graciously given to us. Indeed, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good evening. It is my pleasure to serve as Master of Ceremonies for this evening's program. The format is as follows. I will announce the name of the first group of, un of inductees to come forward on the stage. The second group will prepare to come forward as we continue with the program in the same fashion. So our first group will enter the stage here and exit this way. Please hold your applause until the end of each society's induction. Restrooms are available in the 300 building, which is behind this building. You will need to exit through the cafeteria doors leading out to that far hallway and just follow the directional signage. This and all my years of being here has got to be the biggest crowd I have ever seen for an Honor Society induction. <laughs> wow, congratulations to all of our wonderful students. We realize that some of you are here only for a specific society's induction. So we ask that if you are going to depart in between or after your child is recognized, that you wait until that society's induction is complete and then you exit quietly through the rear doors out here on the courtyard and then we will move right into the next society. Um, we have a lot of great honor societies and we're excited to be able to do this all in one night um, and we hope to move very efficiently through the program. So thank you very much. With our first society, I'd like to invite Mrs. Lauren Doran, sponsor and officers of the National Art Honor Society to please come forward. Good evening. We're gathered here today for the initiation of these young artists into the National Art Honor Society at Bishop Kenny High School. Their selection signifies that through their effort, attitude, and dedication to the field of art, they have consistently demonstrated the highest qualities in art scholarship, character, and service. I would like to introduce our president, Rose Montana, for an explanation of the elements of art. Our art society is based on the elements of art. Here's what they symbolize. Color. Color comes from the sun to all things on earth. Line. Line is the edge of all things on the earth. Form. Form is the mass of the earth. Texture. Texture is the surface of the, all the earth. Space. Space is the void, the emptiness. Balance. 
Balance is equality and harmony. Movement. Movement is time and energy passing. Students, please step over as your name is called to receive a red carnation, the symbol of the National Art Honor Society. Reagan Anderson, Natalia Bustos, Ethan Barron, Erica Charlouz, Maxine Delegencia, Reese Keen, Connor McDaniel, Sydney McDaniel, Madeline O'Neill, Sina Weger Jones, and Selena Yaji. Now Rose will lead the new members in the NAHS oath. In exemplifying the qualities of a creative individual, you have made a valuable contribution to your school and your community. I will now read the pledge. The response is, I will. Will you, in your life, through your talents and art, help to create a more beautiful world for yourself, for humankind, and for all living things? Now Mrs. Doran will light the society's red, yellow, and blue candles. Next, our Vice President, Grace Penley, will give our mission to our chapter's new members. Take up the world, its colors and forms, its lines and textures, its balances and movements and spaces. Combine all these into a beautiful statement of what it is to be human. Give back to the world the same element of beauty that you, as an artist, take from it. Create beauty in the world with your talents and your living. Congratulations and welcome to the National Art Honor Society. Next, I'm pleased to welcome Ms. Jessica Durbin, sponsor and officers of the Quill and Scroll Society. We are here tonight to initiate new members into Quill and Scroll, the International Honorary Society for High School Journalists. I am Alina Vincenti, Editor-in-Chief of the School Newspaper. I am joined on stage by student and life academics editor of the yearbook, Leighton Sutton, and co-anchors of CCN, Frankie Alvarez and Tia Shaney. Quill and Scroll chapters include in their membership students who have excelled in high school, school, high school news media, have done superior work as a staff member of a school publication, and whose overall scholarship places them among the best in their school. Journalism is far reaching in its aims. So tonight, we honor the principle of truth, which journalism seeks ultimately. Individuals should place truth and the search for truth above all other ideals. And it is the duty of Quill and School members to take an active part in the search for truth by maintaining a high standard of journalistic ethics. Quill and School desires to make membership an honor that will stand everywhere for the highest type of journalistic achievement. Since 1777, the students hand-wrote, copied, and distributed the Student Gazette in Philadelphia. Scholastic journalism has given voice to students across the United States and around the world. Scholastic journalism has evolved into a highly fascinating multimedia endeavor that challenges students to embrace the ideals of journalistic practice. For over 90 years, Quill and Scroll has been honoring the best work done by student journalists around the world. Its ideals have now spread to more than 14,200 chapters located in every state in 44 foreign countries. To become a member of the society, a student must meet five qualifications. He or she must be a junior or senior, must have a cumulative 3.0 grain point average for all high school work, must have done superior work in high school journalism, must have been recommended by the journalism advisor, and be approved for membership by the Quill and Scroll executive director. 
Tonight, we are receiving 16 candidates into membership. As I read your names, please accept your certificate. From newspaper, advised by Ms. Jessica Durbin, Noah Ferezzi, Michaela Georgi, Parker Harms, Grace Hayag, Ava Liuzzo, Abby Milkis, Audrey Moody, Haley Saman, Stella Shaw, Charlie Esposito, and Addison Mark. From your book, advised by Mrs. Don Husky, Thea Carandang, Alexandra Noreo, Gina Zamora, Rosa Acosta, Natalie Ellison, Emily Husky, and Allison Miller. From Digital Design, advised by Mrs. Don Husky, Leah Shatley, Josie Thompson, Michaela Crisfonte, and Gabrielle Lehman. You have been called here today because you have demonstrated your worthiness for membership in Quill and Scroll. The ability that you have displayed in your work promises much for you, whether or not you choose to enter into a profession of journalism. Talent means little if not accompanied by hard work and, produ and productivity, as you have shown. Before being declared members of Quill and Scroll and before receiving your membership pin, I ask that you take this pledge to uphold the aims of the society. Please hold up your right hand while I read all of the responsibilities of membership. And if you agree to take them on, please say I do at the conclusion. Do you pledge in the presence of colleagues, faculty, family, and friends in attendance that you will be true to the ideals of Quill and Scroll Society? In whatever field you choose to enter, you will always painstakingly seek the truth. Will you strive to aid the best interests of the community? Will you be a responsible and reliable worker? And do you pledge to do all in your power to aid in the cause of better journalism? If you assume these responsibilities, please answer, I do. I hereby declare you members of Quill and Scroll Society with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that pertain to the membership. May you ever prove worthy of the faith that the society has shown in you today. I congratulate each of you on receiving this honor. Will Miss Jeannie Wilkes, sponsor and officers of the International Thespian Society, please come forward. Friends, parents, instructors, directors, and special guests, it is a pleasure to welcome you here to share in the induction of 21 members into Bishop Kenny's Troop 2411 of the International Thespian Society. Through hard work, sacrifice, and dedication, the candidates have earned sufficient points on a scale dictated by the International Thespian Society to have the right to be called thespians. It is a title of honor, signifying a commitment to an art as old as humanity. Commitment to theater is what the International Thespian Society is about. The society was established in 1929. They named the organization the National Thespian Society for Thesbis, the Greek who, according to legend, was the first actor. Their guiding principle was a dedication to excellence in theater arts and secondary schools. The goal of the International Thespian Society hasn't changed. The society still strives to give young adults a place for outstanding theater where the standards of excellence in the theater arts will be advanced, and a belief that participation in the arts is an essential means of widening students' culture, cultural horizons and enriching their lives. 
It takes a minimum of 100 hours of work in the theater to earn this nomination. We now introduce to you our 2022 International Thespian Society inductees. Please step forward and receive your certificate as your name is called. Mariana Hernandez Abdallah. Cecilia Atkinson. Lillian Bell. Brandon Bowles. Sophia Carmen. Blanca Cuertas. Giovanna Fitoza. Eleanor Kirschk. Olivia Lacey. Julia Lay. Gabrielle Lehman, Christian Moreno, Elizabeth Nguyen, Erica Schmidt, Mary Smith, Melanie Staples, Mary Claire Steinford, Akuch Tong, Maggie Trull, and Alex Yach. I now ask all new members of the Thespian Troop 2411 to repeat after me. I promise to uphold the aims and ideals of the International Thespian Society. I am a student of theater and excellence is my ideal. I promise to perform my part as well as I am able. To accept praise and criticism with grace. To cooperate with my fellow thespians and work for the good of the troop. And to share my love of theater. The pledge that you have just taken binds you to the principles and ideals of the International Thespian Society. You're to do the tasks assigned to you. You are to cooperate with your troop officers and fellow students, as well as your teachers and administrators, in helping to raise the standards of excellence in all your areas of experience. You are to refrain from any action that may hinder the work of your troop. You are to conduct yourselves so that you may gain the respect of your school or program and your community. By the authority delegated to me by the International Thespian Society, I now declare you members of Troop two, number 42411 of Bishop Kenny High School. Congratulations and welcome to the International Desmond Society. <laughs> and always remember our motto, which comes from Alexander Pope's essay on man. Act well your part. There, all the honor lies. Ms. Shelby Zellen, sponsor and officers of the Tri-M Music Honor Society, please join me on stage.
Good evening, my name is Shelby Zellin and I am the advisor of the Bishop Kenny chapter of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. Today, we will formally induct the students and musicians who have met the necessary criteria and have accepted invitations to become active members of Tri-M. I wish to introduce the student officers of our chapter, our president is Ashley Santanel. Our vice president is Shelby Abense, who is absent tonight. Our treasurer is Ryan Spinelli, and our chaplain is Ricardo Salas. These stu music students have been carefully selected on the basis of scholarship, character, leadership, and service. Scholarship represents scholastic achievement and open-mindedness toward knowledge and truth. Character emphasizes a devotion and high ideals and recognizes no barriers between people of diverse backgrounds. Leadership guides us to greater undertakings and service encourages assistance and kindness to others. The name Triam has derived from the original name of our honor society, Modern Music Masters. The first M for modern reminds us that which is new in any age is called modern. It is only in looking back that descriptions such as old, classical, or romantic are given to those art forms that have been formally accepted as modern. Let us remember that we should study the past to effectively plan our future. This is a youth organization, and with each succeeding year, its membership will be made up of young people such as you. Therefore, our honor society will never grow old, but will be internally modern. The second M signifies music. According to the R.H. House Dictionary of the English Language, music is the art of sound that expresses ideas and emotions in significant forms through the elements of rhythm, melody, harmony, and color. Music was present even before there was a written language. In form, and from that time to the present, it has been a source of communication since music is a universal language. The third M signifies masters. In the art field, the custom has been to give the title of master to those who achieved a high degree of proficiency. You have met the criteria as a Tri-M candidate for student membership. As masters, you now have increased your opportunities to serve your school and community. A member of the Tri-M Honor Society is one who sets a good example, is always willing to assist those students who are striving to better themselves in the music department, and always remembers that real honor brings responsibility. May you accept this honor and membership and the responsibility that is now invested in you and wear your pin emblem with pride. The Trium emblem was assigned to symbolize the function and purpose of the Honor Society. The music staff, the lyre, and the scroll represent the members' proficiency and service in the field of music. The triplet figure in the form of an M symbolizes the three M's in the name, Modern Music Masters, from which the society's name has derived. At this, oh, sorry. We will now recite the pledge to show your willingness to carry out the principles of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. Please repeat after me, I'll go slow. Okay. We, the members of the Bishop Kenny Music Department, in order to foster a greater continued interest, in order to foster a greater continued interest and a desire for excellence in music performance, To encourage, appreciation to encourage appreciation and awareness in listening to music, and awareness in listening to, music. To, promote to promote wider opportunities for sharing joy through music, joy through music. Both, within both within our school and within our community. To advance the spirit of good music and musical knowledge and to enhance the reputation of our school. As a center for musical enrichment, accept the honor now granted to us. It is my pleasure to welcome each of you to the Triumph Honor Society. Please step forward to receive your pin when I call your name. Ryan Ossie, Emma Conway, Ellie Kirsch, Ben Limer, Selena Mucci, Julissa Padilla, Haley Volker, Miguel Aponte, Tyler Bozak, Shania Matthews Robinson, Abby Bogish, Roman Tyson, Manuel Rivera Gonzalez, and Amy Moneyhan. Congratulations to all of our new inductees of the Triumph Music Honor Society.
Next will Mrs. Janeline Phillips, sponsor and officers of the Spanish Honor Society, please come forward. Miembros y candidatos de esta sociedad hispánica, bienvenidos. Estamos reunidos aquí para la ceremonia de juramento de este grupo de estudiantes que ha mostrado y probado un vivo interés en la bella lengua castellana. Escuchemos todos a nuestro tesorero, tesorero que nos dará un resumen corto de la historia y de los fines de nuestra sociedad. This Spanish Honor Society was founded by the American Association of Teachers of Spanish and Portuguese in 1953 for the students of North American secondary schools. And this chapter is due to the efforts of Ms. Karina Capote of Bishop Kenny, who established it in March of 1979. The name of this chapter is Simone Bolivar. Our motto is All Together. Our colors are red and gold. Our insignia and seal are those of the sponsoring association. Ahora vamos a guardar silencio. Esta es nuestra iniciación, seria y significativa. Escuchen todos con cuidado. Esta es nuestra madre vela. Nos sirve cada año. Representa la inspiración. Each has a candle in its hand. This typifies our course of life. The candle is saying, if they burn me, I live. If not, I die. May our lives never be candles unburned. Now each of you will come forward to receive from it the symbolic flame. Justin Alberto. Isabel Alejandro Blanco. Sofia Alfonso. Richard Alvarado Patel. Nick Amico. Avery Aniskevich. Miguel Aponte, Lizzie Austin, Rebecca Avila, Anna Bass, Gabriela Bisierra, Kylie Beck, Natalia Bustos, Cameron Carpenter, Casiel Chaluja, Franco Chaluja, Erika Chaluis, Claire Coogan, Carson Cope, Sophia Kratom, Michael Debsky Jr., Isabel Denicio, Emilia Estrada, Caleb Evans, Graham Evans, Emily Felix, Evan Gardner, Grace Hayag, Ava Holloway, Davis Johnson, Isabella Cash, Camden Libiak, Olivia Lacey, Gladia Laus, Kaylee Lee, Elena Lee, Adriana Leonard, Evan Lewis, Peyton Locri, Mary McCarthy, Sydney McDaniel, Mary McDaniel, Brianna McMillian, Isabel Mendoza, Isabella Mulano, Lauren Muldoon, Gabriel Pau, Noah Pasco, AJ Patton, Elena Perez, Marcela Perez, Rafael Perez, Grace Petrie, Matthew Fan. 
JJ Phillips, Ali Portunado, Grazel Rebuya, Lauren Riker, Mateo Rojas, Matthew Salomon, Michael Saunders, Hannah Snickelbacher, Alex Michael Shanahan, Ryan Shanahan, Leah Shatley, Diego Solis, Mary Claire Steinford, Claudia Stockard, Peyton Strominger, Connor Sapinski, Mallory Swain, Riley Talbert, Addie Thorson, Alejandro Venus, Reese Williams, and Avery Catherine Wood. Please repeat after me. Como miembro del capítulo Simón Bolívar prometo, dedicarme al estudio de la lengua española con el fin de dominarla algún día, recordando que una lengua puede ser un lazo fuerte, entre personas de distintos orígenes de raza y religión, Como ciudadano de mi patria, prometo promover la amistad y entendimiento entre ella y los otros países del mundo. Esta es mi promesa y mi juramento. Now, each of you will extinguish the flame of the candle. Friends, by the authority granted me by the presidency of the Simón Bolívar chapter, I declare you members of this chapter. While the newly inducted members of the Spanish Honor Society exit, I would like to let you know that I do see some empty pockets of seats. So for those of you who are still looking for a seat, there are some over here in this section.
It is now my pleasure to invite Mrs. Inga Thomas, sponsor and officers of the Latin Honor Society to please come to the stage. We are gathered here for the initiation of these students in the Bishop Kenny High School Chapter into the National Junior Classical League Latin Honor Society. Our members come from the ranks of the National Junior Classical League, which extends membership annually to over 50,000 students of Latin in the United States and abroad. Inductees, please step forward as your name is called. Cecilia Adkisson, Monica Alrahab, Emma Austin, Nolan Bailey, Claire Coyle, Alexis Graves, Catherine Hain, Emilia Hernandez, Rachel Howard, Bella Hurst, Isabella Hutchins, Alex Isnaga, Eleanor Kirsch, Christian Commando, Emma Lawrence, Kaylee Mahoney, Elizabeth McMahon, Mary Catherine Monahan, Jalila Nakashi, Sharbel Nadav, Natalie N Navidi, Aaron Neal, Andrew Patelli, Emily Pendleton, Julian Pinkston, Melanie Staples, Bridget Sutter, Amina Tamayo, and Amanda Waldrep. Let your membership in this NJCL Latin Honor Society represent your continued interest in increasing your understanding of your own culture by learning to appreciate that of the past. Your membership will make certain demands of you. Thus, in the presence of these witnesses, we ask the following. Vultis ne suscipere societatem nostram NJCL Latin Honor Society, si vultis dicite nos volumus. Polycemini conari augere scientiam de rebus Romanis Graecisque, si polycebimini dicite nos polycebimur. Conamini esse optimi discipuli, et dare exemplum optimum reliquis discipulis, si conabimini dicite nos conabimur. Let us look at the light which comes from this candle. Let this light symbolize your commitment. May this light be ever with you, for it will enable you to extinguish the darkness which misunderstanding and mistrust bring about. May it always guide you in your attempt to promote understanding between the past and the present. And now, as you extinguish the flame of your candle, let us hope that its spirit will remain with you and guide you. Magna cum laetitia et maxima cum laude placet nobis in nostram societatem vos salvere. We now declare you members of the National Junior Classical League Latin Honor Society. Sit scientia vestra potestas.
Next, I invite Mrs. Carol Holland, sponsor and president of the National German Honor Society, to join us on stage. We are gathered here for the induction of these students into the German Honor Society of Bishop Kenny High School. We are happy to make you members of Gamma Mu, the Florida chapter of the National German Honor Society, Delta Epsilon Phi. Let your membership in this honor society reflect your continued interest in increasing your understanding of your own culture by learning to appreciate another. As your name is called, please come up on the stage. Juliette Darren, Christina Jones, Sean Madigan, Jacob Meyer, Noel Pulicoteau, Max Rivera, Erica Schmidt, Noah Stewart, Salome von Rosen, Zina Vera Jones, Jerusalem Walladay. In the presence of these witnesses, we ask you now to join this honor society. Ihr habt euch als Schüler der deutschen Sprache besonders ausgezeichnet und euer Interesse an der deutschen Sprache und Kultur bewiesen. Congratulations and welcome to membership in Delta Epsilon Phi, the National German Honor Society. Next, I'm pleased to invite Mrs. Lauren Mosley, sponsor of Rho Kappa, the National Social Studies Honor Society, to join me on stage. It is with great pleasure that we initiate new members into the Bishop Kenny High School chapter of Rho Kappa, sponsored by the National Council for the Social Studies. The mission of the National Council for the Social Studies is to advocate and build capacity for high quality social studies by providing leadership, services, and support to educators. I present to you Megan Cunningham, president of the History Club and Rho Kappa. Good evening. I will now present the inductees. Renee Albert, Alexander Hope, Ella Averett, Mary Jo Bari, Alexander Burnich, Alexis Brendel, Maria Candelora, Kayla Connolly, John Kratom, Hickory Delegal, Emanuela Assign, Isabella Farhat, Michaela Jerji, Catherine Gary. Catherine Hanania, Ella Hartle, Layla Jean Bart, Grace Jennings, Zachary Jones, Ian Kirsch, Eliora Capesau, Isabella Laus, Ava Larson, Evan Larson, Emma Leahy, Michael Leonard, Ava Liuzo, Sophia Lopez, Alana Lucas, Annabelle Mackey, Casey McLeod, Alyssa Nicole Malakaman, Emily Malzahn, Natalie Mann, Taylor Manuel, Caitlin Markund, Addison Mark, Andrew McClellan, Riley McCormick, Mia McDavitt, Mary McMahon, Riley Meehan, Mary Melville, Abigail Milks, Emma Milton, Reese Muller, Isabella Monahan, Rose Montana, Troy Montanola, Samantha Moran, Juliana Naiman, Tinonye Naduka, Juliana Panicelli, Blaine Perry, Sophia Perry, Alexandra Patangan, Grace Pendley, Ashley Perez, Audrey Perry, Amelia Peters, Aidan Phillips, Benjamin Poirier, Morella Quesnel, 
Jordan Rill, Jocelyn Rill, Catherine Rodriguez, Leandro Rodriguez, Victoria Rojas, Alana Rowan, Yusuf Safar, Kaylin C, Anna Shoemaker, Lillian Smith, Riley Smith, Barry Snyder, Ryan Spinelli, Caroline Stringfellow, Taylor Stromanger, Janine Sumbling, Andrew Tabor, Hannah Thompson, Camden Thornton, Celine Torres, Isabella Vu, William Wallace, Matthew Ward, Doria Wright, and Alexander Yelch. Our name, Rho Kappa, is taken from two words of Semitic origin. Rho is der derived from rest, meaning head, and Kappa is derived from kap, which means palm of the hand. Both these terms symbolize our firm belief that knowledge without service is useless. The principal purpose of Rho Kappa is to simulate a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of all the academic disciplines comprising the social studies curriculum. Candidates. <clears throat> you are being presented for induction into Rho Kappa, a society whose purpose is to honor excellence in the social studies. It is an honor to be selected for membership in this organization, and I congratulate each of you for attaining this distinction. Together, we will recite the oath. I do promise to serve others, to search for truth, to utilize knowledge, and to seek wisdom through the pursuit of academic excellence in the social studies. I promise service to Bishop Kenny High School and to the community for true scholars of the social studies lead by example. On behalf of the Bishop Kenny High School Social Studies Department, I welcome you into the Rho Kappa Honor Society. Just give just a moment for our new inductees to resettle. Very good. Will Mrs. Vicki Schmidt, sponsor of the Science National Honor Society, please come forward. Hello, my name is Vicki Schmidt, and I am excited to sponsor the Science National Honor Society. 
The Society's motto is inscribed in Latin on the shield that translates into, fortunate is the one who understands the causes of things. It is indeed fortunate to recognize these fine students who are willing to share their understanding of the causes of things with other students and community members. The Society was organized in the year 2000 with the following objectives. To encourage and recognize scientific and intellectual thought, to advance students' knowledge of classical and modern science, and to communicate and participate with the scientific and civic community. The criteria for selection into the Society is as follows. They are currently enrolled in an honors or AP science course, they must be a junior or a senior, a minimum GPA of 3.5, they have earned a minimum of a 90 in all standard or honor science courses, or a minimum of an 84 in all AP science courses. I will now ask Natalie Otero, a National Merit Scholar, a Distinguished Society member, and the voice of Bishop Kenny announcements to call out the students that have met the rigorous criteria to be inducted into this society. Aguirre Caesar, Albert Rene, Anderson Reagan, Ossie Robert, Averett Ella, Belolong Maya, Beck Kylie, Bernick Alexander, Bressler Charlotte, Buckley Aaron, Derajati Tony, Delegal Hickory, Estrada Amelia, Jorge Michaela, Girl Catherine, Hanania Catherine, Hartle Ella, Hal Cooper, Jones Zachary, Kachurgis William, Kennedy Morgan, Kirch Ian, Larson Ava, Larson Evan, Leah Emma, Leahy Emma, Leonard Michael, Limbaga Sean, Lopez Sophia, Machi Annabelle, Malakaman Alyssa Nicole, Malzahan Emily, Mann Natalie, Martin Sharon, Milkus Abigail, Milton Emma, Montanola Choi, Naaman Juliana, Naduka Shanonyai, O'Neill McKenna, Patagon Alexander, Pendley Grace, Phillips Aiden, Quesnel Morilla, Raynor Jack, Rill Jordan, Rill Jocelyn, Rodriguez Leonardo, Safar Yusuf, Selman Jimena, Shoemaker Anna, Smith Lillian, Spinelli Ryan, Sumbling Janine, Thornton Camden, Venus Andrea, Vu Isabella, Wallace William, Wilson Emily, Wright Doria, Yalch Alexander, Young Isabel. On behalf of the Bishop Kinney School Science Department, I now welcome and declare you members of the Science National Honor Society. Congratulations.
I am pleased to now introduce Mrs. Allison Gallup, sponsor of Mu Alpha Theta, the National Math Honor Society. Welcome. And congratulations on your induction into Mu Alpha Theta, the National High School and Two-Year College Mathematics Honor Society. It is an honor to be selected for membership, and we're glad that you've decided to join this fantastic honor society. You're in good company of more than 100,000 other talented students from more than 2,500 chapters across the United States and many foreign countries. Each of you meets the requirements for membership including having completed or currently being enrolled in mathematics past college requirements and having earned at least a 3.0 math grade point average. Colleges and major universities recognize membership in Mu Alpha Theta as an important part of a student's academic resume. Your work thus far in mathematics has been impressive and we encourage you to continue learning about math and all it can do for us. Math is all around us and impacts our daily lives in countless ways. Mu Alpha Theta strives to inspire a keen interest in mathematics, develop strong scholarship in the subject, and promote the enjoyment of mathematics in students. In this endeavor, Mu Alpha Theta provides many benefits to its members and chapters, including contests, an annual national convention, grants, awards, and scholarships. I encourage you to seek out all the benefits of Mu Alpha Theta and make, it, make the most of your time as a member in this chapter. If you would agree to accept the honor, the honor of membership in this organization, please respond, I do. Candidates, please come to the stage as your name is called to accept your membership certificate. You can remain on stage until all names are called. Samuel Aguirre, Renee Albert, Hope Alexander, Christy Aleem, Frankie Alvarez, Robert Ossie, Ella Averett, Mary Jo Bari, Maya Balalong, Kylie Beck, Lillian Bell, Alexander Burnick, Charlotte Bressler, Joseph Brunel, Michaela Cristofante, Kayla Connolly, Garrett Corbett, Rosetta Derejati, Maxwell Davis, Andrea De Leon, Patricia Elmore, Emanuela Essien, Emilia Estrada, Isabella Farhat, Michaela Georgie, Emma Gredenhog, Ariana Gutierrez, Catherine Hanania, Ella Hartle, Cooper Howe, Layla Jean Barr, Grace Jennings, Zachary Jones, William Kachergas, Michael Keeney, Morgan Kennedy, Ian Kirsch, Ava Larson, Evan Larson, Emma Lee, Emma Leahy, Nicholas Lequar, Edward Leonard, Michael Leonard, Cooper Lewis, Sean Limbaga, Annabelle Maki, Casey McLeod, Alyssa Malakaman, It's a lot. 
Emily Malzahn, Natalie Mann, Addison Mark, Elizabeth McClellan, Connor McDaniel, Mia McDavid, Gavin Meehan, <laughs> Abigail Milkus, Madeline Millar, Allison Miller, Isabella Monahan, Amy Moneyhan, Rose Montana, Troy Montanola, Samantha Moran, Sean Patrick Morrissey, Juliana Naiman, Chinyanye Indica, McKenna O'Neill, Caroline Oram, Alexander Patangan, Peter Patelli, Audrey Perry, Amelia Peters, Grace Petrie, Courtney Pham, Aiden Phillips, Morella Kuznell, Jack Rayner, Gilbert Ray, Jordan Rill, Jocelyn Rill, Catherine Rodriguez, Leandro Rodriguez, Alana Rowan, Yusuf Sofar, Ashley Santanel, Tia Shoney, Anna Shoemaker, Lillian Smith, and Riley Smith, Barry Snyder, Ryan Spinelli, Caroline Stringfellow, Janine Sumbling, Andrew Tabor, Stephen Taylor, Hannah Thompson, Cody Tucker, Andrea Venus, Elena Vincenti, Isabella Vu, William Wallace, Matthew Ward, Avery Whitlow, Doria Wright, Alexander Yalch, and Cameron Yunus. I now declare you all to be members of Mu Alpha Theta National Math Honor Society. It's a great honor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our National English 
Honor Society sponsor, Dr. Paul DiGiorgio, will present the next induction. Good evening, I'm Dr. Paul DiGiorgio. I'm gonna turn over to my president, Mr. Francisco Alvarez. It is with great pleasure that we introduce to you the Bishop Kennedy chapter of the National English Honor Society. This honor society recognizes distinguished students who excel in honors and or AP English classes. The name of our chapter is a Venerable Bede. St. Bede is a doctor of the church who is most famous for writing in the eighth century, a history of the church in England. From his early years to his death, St. Bede was devoted to writing and education. St. Bede is the patron of our chapter because our members try their best to emulate his literary virtues. The new inductees to the National English Honor Society are as follows. <laughs> Caesar Aguirre, Rene Albert, Hope Alexander, Taylor Alligan, Reagan Anderson, Miguel Aponte, Trinity Aralar, Ella Averett, Mary Jo Barry, William Baker, Maya Bialon, Andrew Bass, Kylie Beck, Alexander Burnick, Kaylee Blackburn, Alexis Brendel, Charlotte Bressler, Elizabeth Brown, Aaron Buckley, Maria Kinalora, Bailey Chin, Micaela Crisfonte, Sebastian Consuegra, Rosalinda Coriano Achuleta, Nancy Kuehler, Abigail Curret, Tony Derejati, Andrew Davis, Hickory Dilgo, John Dreyer, Catherine Dudley, Ian Eldridge, Charlize Esposito, Emanuela Essin, Emilia Estrada, Isabella Farhat, Noah Ferrezi, Daniel Gallagher, Michaela Georgi, Bryn Gibson, Catherine Durrell, Katie Jane Glassford, Emma Grenhog, Ariana Gutierrez, Catherine Hanaya, Ella Hardle, Jordan Hassan, Grace Hayag, Alexandra Gila, Cooper Howe, Catherine Iglesias, Luke Johnson, Dorothy Jones, Zachary Jones, William Kachurgis, Layla Jean Bart, Ian Kirsch, Nick Liviak, Ava Larson, Evan Larson, Emma Lee, Emma Leahy, Nicholas Lickwar, Michael Leonard, Sean Limbaga, Isabella Lasowski, Ava Luizzo, Sophia Lopez, Alana Lucas, Annabelle Mackey, Casey McLeod, Alyssa McLachlan, Emily Malzon, Mary McMahon, Riley Meehan, Emma Mensworth, Abigail, Abigail Milkis, Emma Milton, Reese Moeller, Isabella Monahan, Bridget Monahan, Troy Montanola, Jacob Moran, Samantha Moran, Julia Naiman, Chinonye Nanduga, Samantha Nelms, Alexander Patagon, Peter Patelli, Abigail Patton, Grace Penley, Alan Perez, Audrey Perry, Amelia Peters, Grace Petrie, Aiden Phillips, Madeline Pruitt, Jinghai Q, Marela Kisinel, Julia Rabin, Rafi Ramu, Joselyn Rill, Leo Rodriguez, Mary Rogero, Alana Rowan, Nicholas Ruin, Yusuf Safar, Vincent Salamida, Haley Saman, 
Kevin Sample, Kaylin C, Trey Seeker, Jimena Selman, Leah Shatley, Anna Shoemaker, Lillian Smith, Riley Smith, Barry Snyder, Ryan Spinelli, Taylor Strominger, Janine Sumling, Stephen Taylor, Camden Thornton, Elizabeth Tingley, Celine Torres, Andrea Venus, Molly Vout, Isabella Vu, William Wallace, Matthew Ward, Avery Whitlow, Doria Wright, Alexander Yalch, Cameron Yunos, Jordan Zender, and Rachel Swaska. Okay, so quite a lot. Uh, may your membership in the National English Honor Society signify the fact that your work in the discipline of English has been marked by quality, honor, excellence, and accomplishment. Congratulations. We will have one more induction, followed by a closing prayer. We'll give just a moment for the recent inductees to settle, many of whom are joining the next induction. For our final induction ceremony, before I introduce the officers, at the end of the pledge for the National Honor Society, the inductees will remain on stage and then we will have our closing prayer and then they will exit the stage. So now it is my pleasure to introduce the officers of the National Honor Society.
Good evening, parents, faculty members, fellow NHS officers, members, and National Honor Society inductees. I am Ria Saldaheno, president of the Bishop Kenny chapter of the National Honor Society. We are pleased to induct 85 new members into the Bishop Kenny chapter of National Honor Society. I am pleased to introduce the officers who will help with tonight's program and participate in the induction ceremony. Isabel Young is Vice President. Juliet Albraheb is Secretary. Natalie Otero is Treasurer. And John Kratom is Chaplain. Vice President Isabel Young will announce the new inductees' names. Thank you, Mrs. President. At this time, I will call out the names of our new members and ask him or her to come forward and line up on stage as directed. Caesar Aguirre, Renee Albert, Reagan Anderson, Ella Averett, Mary Jo Bahari, Kate Bailey, William Baker, Maya Balalong, Kylie Beck, Alexander Burnich, Tyler Bosak, Charlotte Bressler, Elizabeth Brown, Aaron Buckley, Nancy Queller, Abigail Curet, Tony Derajati, John Dreyer, Emanuela Essien, Emilia Estrada, Isabella Farhat, Michaela Georgi, Catherine Gierl, Ariana Guiterez, Catherine Hanania, Ella Hartle, Jordan Hassan, Grace Hayag, Cooper Howe, Zachary Jones, William Katurgis, Morgan Kennedy, Ian Kirsch, Ava Larson, Evan Larson, Emma Lee, Emma Leahy, Nicholas Lequar, Michael Leonard, Sean Limbago, Ava Liuzzo, Sophia Lopez, Annabelle Mackey, Casey McLeod, Alyssa Nicole Malakaman, Emily Malzahn, Natalie Mann, Riley Meehan, Abigail Milks, Amelia Milton, Troy Montanola, Juliana Naiman, Chinone Naduka, Alexander Patangan, Peter Patelli, Grace Pendley, Audrey Perry, Amelia Peters, Grace Petrie, Aiden Phillips, Madeline Pruitt, Morella Quesnell, Jack Rayner, Jocelyn Rill, Catherine Rodriguez, Leandro Rodriguez, Mary Rogero, Alana Rowan, Yusuf Safar, Kaylin C, Jimena Selman, Anna Shoemaker, Lillian Smith, Riley Smith, Barry Snyder, Ryan Spinelli, Janine Sumbling, Camden Thornton, Dorian Wika, Andrea Venus, Isabella Vu, William Wallace, Emily Wilson, Doria Wright, Alexander Yalch. Membership into the Bishop Kenny High School Chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by the effective demonstration of the four qualities held in high esteem by the National Honor Society. These four qualities are scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Each new candidate was selected based on these four traits. New members are held in high regard by faculty members and are expected to maintain these high standards and be a role model for all Bishop Kenny High School students. Scholarship is the first quality and will be reviewed by our secretary, Juliet Alhareb. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. 
Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service will be discussed by Treasurer Natalie Otero. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. Time and again, it has been proved that the more a person does to help others, the more he tries to improve his surroundings, the more he will get out of it for himself. Useful participation in classroom activities, active participation in the social life of Bishop Kinney High School, and cheerful consideration of others are all parts of service. Character will be discussed by Chaplain John Kratom. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character which guides on through life and, when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant actions, daily striving to make the right choice. We must be in, in reality what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. I will discuss leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in classroom and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objectives of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful charge to each of our members. As the 2021-2022 president of the Bishop Kenny Chapter of National Honor Society, I will now ask the new members to recite the National Honor Society pledge with me. I pledge to maintain high scholastic standing, to hold as fundamental and worthy an untarnished character, to endeavor intelligently and courageously to be a leader and to give of myself freely in service to others. In doing so, I shall prove myself worthy of a place in the National Honor Society. Congratulations to the newly inducted NHS members. Your accomplishments are to be commended as you join a proud tradition of service and leadership in the Bishop Kenny chapter of the National Honor Society. You join a rich tradition of members in this chapter, which has been in existence since 1952. Before our closing prayer, I would like to thank each of you for joining us this evening and offer my congratulations to all of the new members of our honor societies, their officers, sponsors, and teachers. Ms. Gabrielle Lehman of the International Thespian Society will now offer our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for our talents that led us here today. We thank you for sending your only Son to take our sins away and take care of us all day long. We ask you to fill us with wisdom, determination, and love. Continue to guide us in our ways on the path of life and help us grow closer to you. Amen.
Thank you for joining us. We wish you a safe drive home. Those of you here on to my left, if you want to exit down the left side of the stage, and those of you here directly behind me, you may exit here. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.